Hello and welcome to the next episode of Control Engineering. This time we're going to talk about a really annoying thing. Yeah? Wind up. Wind up. What does it mean? What does it mean wind up? We said we do have the controller. The controller works on a controlled element and the controlled element is influencing the control system. So we have the controller here. This is the control system. Okay. And there the correcting variable. Yeah. And we have this control element here. Huh? So here's the control element. So we got, here we have the difference, of course. Huh? And this here, the output here, is the controlled variable. Huh? So here we've got xd. And here we've got X. So far, so good. This here is Y. Yeah. So this is the correcting variable. But the correcting variable is not totally equal to the control output. Yeah. Here we must be careful. I call this, I will use another color. I call this Y dash. Uh, they might be uh, slightly different. And I show you yeah, show you now the difference. Uh, one possible difference. Let's say this is the reference variable. This is what the reference variable should look like. And let's say this is the control variable. Now, what is the difference? The difference here is zero. And suddenly, suddenly the difference is jumping to a new value because the set point is jumping, the difference is jumping as well. Wanted minus whatever, so the difference is jumping exactly this amount up here. It's the difference. So, depending on the controller, yeah, this y dash. is jumping right, because there is maybe a p bar and then it will start to increase right. will start to increase this means hopefully our controlled variable will start to grow right. this means further our error will start to drop this means further the increase here will not be that severe anymore. Okay, this we would expect. But let's say we do have here a limit. Yeah? Our control element is following, so we have a y. It is following, and suddenly, somewhere here, it's limited. Because there is the maximum, maximum there's somewhere maximum value. Yeah? In our car, this would be full throttle. Yeah? Okay. What does it mean? What does it mean? Basically, that the control variable will go up, 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 up. The error will go down, 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 down. 
So far, so good. And then here, it might, because this is enough, let's say this is enough, because it's leveled okay, so we will increase here, and maybe increase a little bit slower. So the error, the error is going down. And at some point in time, we are hitting book. Okay? At some point in time, we are hitting, and the error has reached at exactly this point in time zero. Huh? Zero. However, the control does not know that this is limited. Yeah? It put out more and more and more and more and more. Yeah, the integration, but only here yeah, it's satisfied. Yeah. Here it's satisfied. Here we have flat spot. But in reality, we are here. And maybe this is much too high. Yeah, this is much too high. So we start to grow even further. Okay. Now we would expect, now we would expect the, the automated system, the controller, to immediately react and go down from there. Yeah? However, it is far, far above, so it will now decrease from here. Yeah? It will decrease from here. And then it depends a little bit how much too much this is. Yeah? At some point in time, later, much later, yeah? Our internal y is pinching this maximum y again. Yeah? Up to now, nothing really happened. Up to now, nothing really happened. And now it will take y with. Okay? And now, now, at this point in time, this might start to drop again. So we are above and it still is accelerating. Yeah. Why? Because the internal value, the internal I part, integrational part, is winding up and this is too much simply. Yeah? This is too much. When we're pinching the correct value, we are far beyond the reality. This is an issue. Yeah? This is an issue. Real issue. Yeah? What we need to, to do somehow is get this internal value limited also. So we need some information from the control element if everything is alright. Yeah? There are structures and ways to do this. A lot of ways because it's a common problem. But that's wind up. Yeah? This is the wind up issue. So we need to, to know if this control, at least we need to know if this control element is at the limit. Then we should stop integrating, for instance. That would be one possibility, that we're not integrating up anymore. Ah, we are at full throttle, the control element maxed out, we will not count up anymore, and we stop here. One possibility. And then here we react quite fast, sooner. Uh, then this will be not that severe. Yeah? But maybe it's not enough to only know the limit of this. Yeah? Maybe, maybe this steepness here at the beginning here is too high for the control element to follow. Maybe the control element is even not moving that fast. Yeah? Then also wind up is already starting somewhere here. Also possible, yeah? if the controller is giving out too fast and this, because maybe it's some automated valve or something like this with a motor and the motor is opening and it takes a while. Yeah? And the controller wanted to react much faster. So 
this is wind up. Yeah? This is all wind up. This might be an issue. Yeah? It is not an issue for the proportional part, of course, because the proportional part here will be zero. Yeah? Because there is no difference anymore. The proportional part is just gaining the difference. Proportional part here will be zero, no issue. Differential part also no issue. Yeah? However, integrational part. This is where our efforts must be to block wind-up. Okay? Integrational part of the controller. There we need to kick in somehow. We need to limit it, we need to reduce it. There are quite some, some methods on how to deal with this wind-up. But you should be aware this wind-up is there. It's also not an option to make it slower, yeah? because then it would just crawl. I would lose, I would lose uh, dynamic. Yeah? If I have a car with 500 horsepower, yeah? and just because it's enough to use 30 to reach 100 yeah? and during acceleration, I will use all of it, of course, yeah? to get there as fast as possible. Yeah. Of course, not 500 horsepower, but I think you got it. Yeah, it's not just enough to go up to what I will here because then we're just scrolling up. Yeah, so it would be nice to bring it up and then exactly where I want to have it, gently slow it down and then I'm reaching this. This would be nice and wind up does make this task a little bit more difficult. This is why. We need to do anti wind up technologies. Good, this is wind up. I already mentioned something about it would be nice to have to go there as fast as possible and then gently swing it in. Yeah? Our next videos will deal with this. The next video is about some characteristic values. Yeah? So, we're going to talk about some characteristic values of our control loop. There are some characteristic values which are going to define how good or bad a system might be controlled, if it's controllable at all, or how good or bad the final controlling is. We will define some characteristic values there, some names. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.